Gemini 2.0 is now live and they have some really interesting and useful features that allows you to do SEO audits and optimize your website using their new stream real-time feature. Now, most of you would probably not have heard of this feature, but this allows you to start interacting in real time using text, voice, video, or even screen sharing. So that means I can actually share my screen to Gemini. AI will be able to then read my screen and give me recommendations on things that I ask. So for example, let's go ahead and start. We're gonna allow, and then we're going to share our screen. And then I'm gonna go over to my okay, website. So it's I see, and what are you gonna do next? So what I'm going to do is I would like you to read my website and give me an SEO audit on things that I can do to improve my SEO for this website. Okay, I will take a look at your website and provide you with an SEO audit. I see that your website is for a mortgage brokerage company. Some of the main points I noticed are that your website has a heading stating company in Canada, an award-winning mortgage brokerage badge, and get a free consultation today button and some statistics like 95% AVG new projects and 40M plus customer worldwide. You also have buttons like call or text now and sections for services such as private mortgage, second mortgage, and B lender mortgage with corresponding apply now buttons. That is correct. Now again, what can I do to increase the SEO for this specific page? and allow me to capture more traffic from this page. I understand. So you're looking for ways to increase the SEO for this specific page and capture more traffic. I can help with that. First, I would suggest optimizing your website's headings and subheadings by incorporating keywords relevant to your business and services. Okay, and what keywords would that be? Okay, something went wrong. Of course, this is experimental, so there are going to be some sort of issues. So let's go ahead and share it again. Now we're gonna continue, but as you guys can see there, that was pretty cool. It was very interesting how fast that was, and it was able to pick up on you know the things that I was asking. It was able to read my screen very quickly. You know That is a very, very cool and mind-blowing feature that I haven't seen in any other AI tool. So let's go ahead and try it again. We're gonna stop recording. We're gonna disconnect. We're going to start a new screen and we're going to share. Okay. Okay. It sounds like you're about to share your screen. Yeah. So Is let's there go anything ahead you and go over to my blog okay. and we're going to read some of our blog topics. And I want you to give me recommendations of other articles I can create based upon these topics. Okay. I see your blog page with various articles about mortgages in the Canadian housing market. It looks like you are asking for recommendations for other articles that you could create based on your existing topics. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Based on your current blog topics, here are a few ideas for new articles you could create. One topic you could explore is the impact of the recent interest rate cuts on variable rate mortgages and how that may differ from fixed rates. Another article idea would be to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of various mortgage terms, such as one year, three year, and five year fixed terms. Would you like more ideas? Those are some good ideas, yeah. What are some ideas I can create, let's say, cater for self-employed individuals? Okay, focusing on self-employed individuals, you could create articles about the specific challenges they face when applying for a mortgage, such as income verification. You could also explore strategies for self-employed individuals to improve their mortgage application chances. Additionally, you could discuss the different types of mortgages available to them and their specific eligibility requirements. Would you like any other ideas? No, that's pretty good. Now let's actually go ahead. I'm going to read one of my articles. I want you to read it and then I want you to give me recommendations of what I can do to increase the SEO um, optimization of this specific article. Okay, I will read the article titled How Canada's Latest Bank of Canada Interest Rate Cut Impacts Your Mortgage Decisions and then provide recommendations for its SEO optimization. Correct. Okay, I have read the article. Here are some recommendations for SEO optimization. First, consider incorporating more long-tail keywords related to the specific impacts of interest rate cuts on mortgages in Canada. Also, 
Make sure the article has a strong meta description, which is a short summary of the article. Another way to improve SEO is by adding relevant internal links to other related articles on your blog and adding alt text for the images you include. Okay, that's good. So now what I want to do is I want you to give me or do a audit of the categories of this website, of the silos of this website, and give me ideas of maybe how we can structure this website much better for SEO purposes to pass over link juice and to increase the overall on-page optimization of this website. Okay, so something went wrong. But again, as you guys can see here, this is really, really cool stuff. And everything is being recorded, so you can go back and listen to it. Um, but it's really impressive to me how fast the AI is at reacting, how fast it is at actually reading the content and seeing what's there and then giving me a response. So I'm very, very impressed by this. We haven't heard much about this model, but I'm sure that we will continue to see this being rolled out more and more. And it's going to be very interesting to think about the use cases that SaaS companies will create for something like this. I could see this being a very good support tool. You know, let's say, for example, I, you know, with GoDaddy and I'm trying to update my DNS, a tool like this can be really helpful to walk me through that process because it can read my screen and can walk me through that process of, let's say, going to X, Y, and Z, getting things done. That will free up some support. That will be a lot less cost effective than using someone else. And it'll also be a better customer experience for the user because they can get information much quicker. That's one use case that, use, that's one use case that comes to my mind but I'm sure there's a lot of other really, really cool use cases that people will implement for this specific tool. So if you haven't used it before, you have to head over to aistudio.google.com and then head over to stream real time. And that's where you can actually go ahead and um, use these models. There's also some other models that just came out, video analyzer, map explorer, spatial understanding. And then you can actually go ahead and use Gemini 2.0. That is a new update, which allows you to write uh, better content. So we see here that AI, LLMs are getting really, really good. And now we have options between, I would say the best three are OpenAI, Claude, and Gemini AI is definitely on the come up and they're backed by Google, one of the biggest, largest, most well-funded company in the world. So you can imagine that they'll be creating some really, really good LLMs and AI tools. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Take care.